I have to tell you this before we start. One of the great pleasures that I have, and this is the beautiful moments of social media, is after every Minnesota Vikings game, I get this really close up on Instagram of Ben Lieber's face. And just your facial expression alone, I know what happened in the game. <laughs> but this facial expression I got after looking at your Instagram uh, yesterday that came into my timeline, this was one of not just joy and happiness, but it was also a little bit of shock as you were there in Buffalo yesterday. Just tell me about the atmosphere, what you witnessed with this Vikings victory over the Buffalo Bills. Oh, first of all, Kirk, it's always good to talk to you. <laughs> um, thanks for the for the nice intro. You even got the TCL plug in there. I, I mean, did. Food, and fun. I mean, it's <laughs> what we do at 3 to 4.30. <laughs> I got to. Oh, yeah, it's wild. Um yeah, no. So thanks for thanks for tuning into my Instagram for those silly little updates and uh, recaps of the games. Yeah, I, I. It's funny because sometimes I have to intentionally change, like I, I edit the the cover photo, you know, because <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, when I start the video, I'm, I don't maybe I don't look as happy as I seem. So then I'll like <laughs> try to find a picture where I'm like, more, you know, maybe a little more happy, so people can understand that. Uh, hey, when we win, it's. Um, it looks good. So, um, so anyway, the the atmosphere there was was nuts. It's everything you'd expect mm -hmm. from Buffalo's fan base. They're a great crowd. Everybody talks about it. it's like the only college field to the NFL, and uh, it was a packed house. They were rowdy. Um, I think everybody was excited that that Josh Allen was playing. We were kind of basically getting their best shot versus our best shot. And it's what we talked about all week long. And you know, it's it was truly one of the great joys in my life to watch those series of events at the end of the game and how it all turned out. It was, it was one of the best football games, probably the best football game I've ever watched. I do want to start, like you mentioned before the game, because everything was all about who would start at quarterback. Was it going to be Case Keenum? Uh, was it going to be, obviously, Josh Allen? And no one knew. Obviously, they, they didn't elevate a quarterback on Saturday from the practice squad. or they, Well, it was Matt Barkley. They didn't elevate him. So that kind of told us that, hey, Josh Allen probably is going to play in this football game, but would he start? And obviously, when the game comes up, they finally started and played. And so, Ben, when you realized that Josh Allen was going to start, what was the mindset you think of the football team? You know, I think it was kind of what they expected, to be honest with you. Like, I, I personally did not buy this whole, this whole thing during the week that he wasn't going to play in the game. Um, you know, I even talked about it locally on KFAN that, you know, it's, it's going to be something like, okay, he's going to be limited or out. You know, when they said initially he's going to be day-to-day -day with his initial, initial diagnosis, that to me was, was the biggest clue. You know, if he was not going to be day-to-day -day and he was going to be questionable like on Monday or Tuesday, then I would think, okay, he's probably not going to play. But the other part of it is, and you understand this, you, you look at the, the two quarterbacks that they could possibly see. They get the most, you know, one of the most athletic quarterbacks with the biggest arm in the NFL. Right. And then you have Case Keenum, who doesn't have the biggest arm and not quite as athletic. It's a lot easier to prepare for Josh Allen and then at the last second find out it's Case Keenum. Like, I, I don't think that the mindset changed at all. I don't think that anybody bought into um, what they were doing with the injury report and having him you know, run off the field at practice when the media got there. Was it a ruse? Was it a setup? You know, He didn't even warm up during the course of the game. Uh, nobody really saw him on the field. So I, I think they, they put a lot of effort and drama into something that really in the end did not matter. He's Ben Lieber, the 10-year NFL veteran. He's the broadcaster. He's also the sideline reporter for the Minnesota Vikings. But, you know, Ben, one of the things that I love about the NFL, I am a big, big, big proponent for revenge games. I love revenge games. This was supposed to be the Stephon Diggs revenge game, right? The former Minnesota yeah. Viking taking on the Vikings as, a, as he's a member of the Buffalo Bills, going against the guy who they used the first-round pick for in Justin Jefferson. And it was supposed to be Jefferson and Diggs. Who won this trade? And yesterday, both of them made outstanding catches, probably two of the better catches you'll see all of the NFL season. But Justin Jefferson made a catch yesterday that ultimately you, you just, I mean, I don't know where it will rank in terms of all time, but that catch and what it meant on fourth and 18, just tell me about that one, Ben. Oh, I think it's, I think it's better than the Odell catch, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, because you know, Odell's was, was amazing because he was falling backwards. It was one-handed, and really, I think he had, like, you know, two fingers and maybe his thumb on it. It was an incredible catch. But you look at this catch, and you slow it down, 
you know, the defender had both hands, 10 fingers on that ball. <laughs> and, and how did Justin, I still watch that. I'm like, I don't know how he came up with it. I was, I was standing probably 10 feet away, and I was jumping up and down because I couldn't believe he caught it. But then I never really saw the replay. I didn't see the replay until I got, you know, the game was over. I'm scrolling social media, and I'm watching the highlights. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, this, is, this is it. I've never seen a better catch in a bigger moment. Um, obviously, you mentioned Stephon Diggs. I mean, the Minneapolis Miracle, that, was, right. <laughs> you know, that wasn't like a great spectacular catch. It was a, a great moment, and he was a part of it. Um, that play, the, the timing, the moment on fourth down, it, it, seriously, it'll, be, it, it, it'll go down in one of the best catches, at least in Vikings history. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.